the idea of what is beautiful in the world is um, something that our culture has arrived at collectively. And so it's the permanence of gold that in, I think, a lot of cases is what's contributed um, to that value to it. The chemistry of art class began actually in 2005. The hook is not chemistry, the hook is the art. Sometimes even without mercury gilding, there's mercury in the gold and people have short life expectancies uh, because they're heating up gold and not realizing that they're vaporizing the mercury. This actually is a way of conveying to students who would otherwise have no particular interest in studying science that science actually could be useful for something they are interested in, for understanding art, for making art, for deciding whether art objects are real, how you're going to go about cleaning them or restoring them or exhibiting them without damaging them. Well, the intent is a very practical course. This class is really unique in that you can actually take something not having to be a PhD in like chemistry or physics or biology and actually use that knowledge in the real world. Chemistry is really important for conservation. We are let loose on objects with, with a chemistry lab full of materials. And if you don't understand um, the consequences that your choices can have, it can really be catastrophic. I've always been interested in like the conservation side of art history um, ever since I was younger, just like going to museums a lot, reading about different artworks. Um, I always kind of wanted to see like the behind the scenes aspects of art history just going to the museum. Um, and then also because I am pre-med, I am very drawn to the science aspect. So this class is very unique in that it literally combines both science and art, um, which is kind of like the, the trajectory of my life and my time at Rice. As a senior, I think it kind of sums up my experience almost um, in a really good way. With my two majors, I never thought I was going to be taking chemistry, but yet it, then again, I've been taking some different classes while I've been here at Rice with this whole distribution aspect and with um, really just some, I'd say random classes because I look at what other people at other colleges are doing and their classes are a little bit more textbook. But here I have friends, uh, I'm taking chemistry of art, but I know people who are taking, for example, uh, feminism in Asia or other topics like uh, antiquity and talking about Homer and Plato. So I definitely think it's interesting and although I do recognize that other colleges do something like that, I think Rice is definitely a step ahead with all of these different concepts and all that. I wanted to use college as a time just to like do something different because as a doctor I'll have many many years ahead of me of like school and studying very specific by now kind of doing it with this science class like chemistry of art. I'm kind of going a little bit further into that you know, one foot in the science world, one foot still in the humanities world as a senior. So I think it's kind of a good ending, I guess, if you want to call it that.